My next guest is a very funny comedian who'll be appearing at the Cap City Comedy Club in Austin, Texas, October 16th through the 18th. And his special, Why Do I Do This, is available now on CD and DVD. Please welcome to Very Funny, Bill Burr. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm uh, going through a big change in my life right now. I'm uh, thinking about getting a dog. And uh, there's only a problem. I get into an argument with my girlfriend because I want to get a puppy. She wants to rescue a dog. That's her big thing. She's like, we should rescue a dog. You, you, want, you want to rescue a dog? I'm like, no, no, I don't. <laughs> She's like, why not? I go, because I think a lot of those dogs might be a little whacked in the head. You know? You ever think about that? The, 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 the pound is not a pet store. That's like Shawshank for a golden retriever. I mean, why don't we just go down to the prison and, like, adopt an inmate and just roll the dice that maybe the guy didn't commit the crime? I'm just telling you, seriously, man, I want a brand-new 2008 Bulldog, all right? I don't want some... I don't want some 1995 half a Labrador with part of its ear chewed off, you know? Every time I go to use the toaster, it starts freaking out because his last owner hung him from the ceiling fan every time the Jets didn't cover the over, you know? Dude, I'm serious. No, I mean, that's an animal, man. That thing could kill you. Like, a squirrel could mess me up if it wanted to, right? Like, if I wasn't prepared and some rabid squirrel just started running at me, like, by the time I processed, like, is that a rat? Is that mechanical? That thing would be up my leg, taking chunks out of my head, you know? That's what I'm worried about. What if I accidentally get one of these Cujos or old yellers, right? I get up in the middle of the night to relieve myself, like, 3 in the morning, and that's the exact moment its previous owner used to come ho home, like, hammered, beating the crap out of the dog. I got no idea what I'm about ready to set off. I'm just shuffling along in my slippers. Meanwhile, the dog's getting all amped up, like, to hell with this man. I promised myself I wouldn't let this happen again, all right? It's time to man up. Let's do this. On three. Yeah! Yeah! This thing comes flying at me, grabbing me by my neck. What are they gonna do with the dog? They're gonna take him right back down to the pound like some sort of repeat offender, you know? He's gonna have him in shackles as he's shuffling along. They'll probably wheel him back in like Hannibal Lecter with, like, that lampshade around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> so... So, I got, I got a bit of a temper. And, uh, I'm trying to work on it, man. You know what's really been making me snap lately? As I'm sick of walking into, like, a place of business, and I'm paying for a service, and they end up making me do, like, half the job, you know? I walk in, I go, let me get a turkey sandwich, lettuce, tomato on rye with mayonnaise. And the guy's like, all right, turkey sandwich, lettuce, tomato on rye. I go, yeah, and, and mayonnaise. He goes, oh, yeah, the mayonnaise is uh, it's right over there. <laughs> really? Well, why don't you go over there and put it on my sandwich? All right? Yeah, it's annoying. It's like, dude, I don't work here. You get that? I'm on this side of the register. Customer, guy who makes sandwiches, you know? <laughs> no, it's like everywhere you go. I went to a grocery store, eight out of ten lines are automated. It's like, really? I gotta pick all this out and, and I gotta start scanning it? That's amazing. Here it is. I thought I was a comedian. Evidently, I also work at a grocery store. You know? I can't believe I forgot my apron. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, if that's what it's gonna be like in the future, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the food up, I'm gonna count five Mississippi, and I'm just gonna walk out. And when they stop me, I'm just gonna play dumb. Like, oh, I, I didn't know. I had no idea. You know, well, sir, you have to put the food back. No, I don't. I, what, are you gonna fire me? I don't work here. You know? I'm gonna cut back on my hours? No, seriously, that's the kind of stuff I, I like, really find it shocking, you know? And I hate when people find stuff shocking that isn't shocking, you know? Like that dog the bounty hunter message he left, like, last year. Remember that? That racist message? And everybody was freaking out. Dude, can you believe that message he left? Uh, uh, can you believe it? Yes. Yes, I can believe it. <laughs> I mean, look at the guy. Good Lord, some redneck with a mullet down to his ass, you know? <laughs> He's driving a pickup. We got those gloves with the fingers cut off. I mean... <laughs> It was one of the most least shocking things I've ever seen, you know? You know what would have been shocking? If he could play the cello. That would have been shocking. Yeah. Yeah, then it would have been like, be like, oh, my God, look at Doc. Here it is. I thought he was some racist on his way to a steak and shake to discuss the upcoming Hitler birthday. And then he, he breaks out a little Beethoven. Oh, my God. 
do I owe this guy an apology? I'd love to see his iPod. I can't imagine the eclectic mix of music that he must have on there. All right, I'm out of time. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, hey, that's killer. Thank you. That was hilarious. Thank you. Bill Burr, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.